With over 12,000 objects in the Point Ellis House collection, not every item is on display for the public. Through the process of digitization, we are able to expand the public's access to our collection, allowing anyone to look through pictures and descriptions of artifacts at their own leisure. Through the fall of 2020, Point Ellis House staff oversaw the digitization of nearly 100 large format art pieces in the collection. These pieces vary from prints and paintings to original art pieces created by members of the O'Reilly family. The pieces were organized from largest to smallest before being photographed. However, a number of paintings were too large to be captured in one shot. As a result, several of these larger artworks were photographed in sections before being digitally stitched back together and uploaded to our database. Staff at Point Ellis House are constantly working to make sure that the collection is cared for, and one way that we accomplish this is through rehousing. Rehousing is an effort to improve the storage of a collection and minimize the deterioration of artifacts. Recently, we rehoused our extensive collection of newspapers and magazines, as their previous storage conditions were not up to archival standards. The process of rehousing these newspapers and magazines began with the removal of plastic packaging, then each issue was wrapped in acid-free tissue paper and placed in a labeled archival grade box. Through these efforts, future researchers will be able to access these resources and contribute to greater knowledge about Point Ellis House and Victoria. These digitization and rehousing projects are important because they provide care for the collection and make items more accessible to the public. If you are interested, you can browse our collection through the Provincial Heritage Database or access our historic resources through our website. If you'd like to keep up with our ongoing conservation projects, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like this video.